Today we're going to look at the resonant current ballasting of a water cell. Presently the water cell has 13.73 DC pulsed volts with no cap in the system, sending 4.58 amps through that solution. And we're taking in 5.23 amps through the rectification system. It's being obtained between the 3.6 amps on the front coil and the 2.83 amps on the bottom coil. Right now we're at 55 volts. And we can compare the 55 volts input voltage to the voltage going through diode system which is 16. Now we're going to go and I'll note that ratio 55 to 16. We'll go ahead and go up and we'll also wait to note our secondary action. There's no bulbs being lit and when it lights the other end of that meter will show the other end of the circuit that was formerly the plug that plugs into the wall. It has been shorted across that meter and when the neon lights will get amperage through that bottom meter. So we got milliamps on that side roughly equal 45 milliamps on each side. Now we're going to look, go ahead and turn it up to 120 volts please. We can see that is just the secondary action and uh, looks like 32 milliamps and for some reason the top one went out. Meters do that. And there's our amperages going through each coil specifically. Only 25 milliamps through the front coil, 9.75 milliamps through the back coil. Only the front coil has an inductant coil on it. And then from there, we can get our friggin' reading. And we got 22 milliamps without glare. There we are, 22.5 milliamps. That's the power that we're not using that's going through the air to the bottom two induction coils. Now we'll be looking at the resonant process all over again here. Meters went out again. We got 117 AC volts enabling 4.67 amps uh, into the circuit. Splitting on the back coil 6.73 amps. 6.46 amps on the front coil which is inducing all the secondary action on the high induction coils. Since there's only one high induction coil on the pair. Quickly back to this again then. For this, then we've got 21.8 volts going into the rectification system versus 117 roughly a five-fold reduction and then on this side here we got 6.46 split in with again the mentioned 6.74 in the back and the unity of those currents make 11.4 amps going through the rectification system and as uh, the power to the cell is now 18.15 DC volts enabling 10 amps. And there's the cell's activity. And that should be about it. There's your input. There's your output. So I don't I don't understand very well that the resonant current ballasting system doesn't appear to be doing a very good job efficiency wise. Since the VARs in, the VAR out are uh, very mismatched numbers. That's it.